I just wanted to talk a little bit about the MDI input and output options you have in Withem. Basically, Withem allows you to fetch any MDI stream over the network and put that into the background of Withem. Um, that's available here. And then you also have the option to um, just take the whole visualization you are creating without the user interface and streaming that over the network to any other MDI receiver. That's pretty powerful um, and have a lot of nice use cases. But first I will go for the background option. Basically, you just need to enable NDI. Um, here on my MacBook, I um, have the NDI test pattern app running and I can just select uh, any pattern I want. Basically, you can just send videos and any images um, over the network uh, via NDI. But I will just use the test patterns here for an example. It's important that you mute the audio. I think there were some problems when sending audio as well. You don't need that. Um, then you can choose a quality setting for the image you're sending over the network. And then switching over here, we have that NDI image, which is um, received over the network. Pretty important to mention that I'm uh, on the same Wi-Fi network here on my iPad and on my MacBook. And the idea is that you can just click on NDI and select the NDI source. I previously configured my MacBook, but you can select any other source which is available in your network. That's it for the input. You can just put anything into the background which is streamed over NDI, pretty cool thing. And now we are going for the output. That's also pretty cool. Basically, you can just say, I wanted to stream my visuals over the network using NDI. And then switching over to the MacBook, we can use, uh, for example, the NDI monitor. I think a lot of apps have this NDI um, protocol integrated, um, but I will just use these um, standard tools. Let's go for this. Um, and here you can see my iPad is listed with them. That sounds pretty promising. And here we go. That's pretty cool. I mean, basically it's just streaming in real time um, over Wi-Fi network. You can also connect via Ethernet, which is a lot more faster. And just check it out. That has some pretty cool use cases because um, basically you can um, use the iPad, um, playing with the performance parameters, configure your visuals, and then you can stream that over the network and only receive the final visualization without the user interface and any other things. So in case you wanted to have a setup where you're doing some VJing or something like that, you can just use that NDI stream and project it um, to, a, yeah, to, to a dance floor or anything else. And um, that's pretty cool, I think. Yeah, it's basically without any noticeable delay. That's pretty cool, even over Wi-Fi. So yeah, that's something I just wanted to tell you about, which I think is pretty powerful for some people which are using with them in certain setups when they wanted to do live VJing or something similar.